Hi there, this is just a quick video to show the DIY fume extractor I've cobbled together uh, in my shop. Um, it's just, um, this is rigid pipe. Um, I got that from a local scrapyard. Um, the funnel I'm using is a 6 inch to 10 inch reducer. Um, the wall was fitted. Uh, to increase the suction, if I have a look underneath, is a, a, a kind of baffle in there, if you like, you know, it pulls the suction around the edge better. Um, and that's kind of inspired. I watched a video uh, by Chucky2009, um, and he was using a, I think it's called an Avanti 2000, big professional thing. Um, and it's fitted with that. I, I believe it increases the suction in here. You know, if you if you didn't have that in there, it would just sort of uh, pull the the air in kind of slowly. So we fitted that. Um, if we have a look further up, um, it goes up. Uh, fixing it, I've just used sort of um, it's 20 mil builder strap. Um, and it comes along, there's a 6 inch elbow up there, a metal elbow, because that stuff's kind of bad if, for bending, you know, it will move but it won't go at the right angle. Um, coming further along, sort of halfway along the system, uh, we've got a 6 inch inline fan. Um, it seems to be moving quite a bit of air through it, so it's quite adequate for it. Um, this is a box it came in. I think it's called uh, Turbo Tube 150. That's a six inch version. They come in like four, eight, you know, four, eight, but I thought six inches is, you know, the, the way to do it. So we come further along, uh, another piece, and we come up to another elbow is fitted up here. Um, and we're, what we were planning on doing, if you have a look along the top of the door here, um, we were thinking of just putting the tube in and out the door, but it turned out to be a pain in the arse. So we're abandoning that idea, and I'm waiting on another uh, another right angled six inch tube uh, that will be fitted right there. We'll get a hole through at the top of the door, and on the outside of the door we'll get a six inch sort of vent louver thing. Um, and that that should be that should be quite good. Um, what else? Um, we, we've got this sitting here like this, but you know we're we're going to get some type of pulley up here, and um, so that we, this can be moved, you know, into position. Most of the welding I do is on these sort of old catering tables I got a long time ago, um, so I believe that. It's sort of about 12 inches is the 12 inches away for the workpiece is probably the optimal placement for the nozzle. Um, and really, that's about it. You know, you can pay sort of thousands and thousands. I think that Avanti 2000 that Chucky 2009 got, you know, you're looking at a, you know, it's it's four figures. Um, something like this. I'll put all the links for what I've got. This stuff here, this rigid stuff, we use this because um, the flexible stuff is almost like tinfoil and you know moving this backwards and forwards especially up there where I'm getting the movement you know it's not going to be a you know it's going to be a short space of time before I get a tear in it or to repair it so we went for this but as I say I got this for a local scrap yard I got the whole lot you know for 30 pounds and um, that's the rest of it there that'll be going back I don't need any more um, so that's really the crux of it. A 10 inch to 6 inch a reducer. I've put a baffle in there that's just a bit of sheet metal. I've fabricated that myself. Um, rigid ducked in, 6 inch ducked in, two elbows in the fan and the strap in. It's screw fix about £7. You know, it's, it's only about £80. £80 British pounds, you know. so. It's not a lot of money when you consider, you know, how much the professional stuff is. Um, what we've done as well, 
is we put a we put a switch in, you know, to turn it off and on as we need it. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it on this camera. I'll turn it on. Um, at the end of the video, I'll put up, um, you know, a shot of it working. You know, I'll weld a bit on this table, and uh, I'll let you see it working. But there's a decent amount of suction there. You know, it's not huge, but um, you don't need a massive amount. You just need sort of 12 inches away for the work. You know, and away you go, and it saves the breathing in that shit. Uh, especially when you stick welding, that stuff is not good. So, yeah, so that's really it. There's a couple of people I want to uh, thank. Uh, Absolutely Rogue uh, is one of them, kind of. Uh, this is inspired by him, Chucky2009. Great guy. And Bob.com, who uh, produces fantastic videos. Thanks very much. Uh, and hopefully I'll get another video up for you at some point. Thanks very much for watching.